Susan works on the final phase of her buckskin. Dry rotten spruce is crumbled, ready for smoking the skin to give it its characteristic nicotine colour. But first she needs to find some stones. Not so easy when the ground is covered in 10 feet of snow. The stones are heated in the stove, then transferred to a bucket containing the dried, shredded wood, over which the skin is hung. It's then left to smoke for an hour. Smoke tanning produces a very strong, breathable hide and is ideal for outer garments such as moccasins, boots and gloves. The early trappers quickly adopted the Inu buckskin and today it's still sought after by hunters and fishermen. <laughs> Night and the outside temperature drops dramatically. Far from the sea, inland Labrador can be colder than the North Pole. It's a time to snuggle up with the warmth of the wood stove and begin cutting the felt lining for the moccasins. I asked Danielle if the old timers are still teaching the young how to make traditional clothing. Philomene measures me up for a pair of mucklucks, which are basically moccasins with a canvas gaiter sewn onto them. These are traditional footwear for use with snowshoes. The buckskin is first cut to size, with an added width to accommodate the felt lining, and then the laborious job of puckering the leather to make the toe of the moccasin begins. They usually take her about a day or two to make, depending on the amount of decoration she puts into them. The Indian moccasin design has been adopted worldwide because of its comfort. When you look at a muckluck, it seems incredible that anything so flimsy could keep you warm, but there are some good reasons why it does. Firstly, your sweat can pass through the buckskin, so it's not inside the boot to freeze and make you cold. Secondly, the boot allows your foot to move, which also helps to keep you warm, and there's no hard sole to conduct heat away. All those things make it the perfect boot to use with the traditional snowshoe. The Montagnier snowshoe is an intricate weave of strips of caribou hide known as babiche. This is tensioned around a jointed wooden frame that has been carefully bent into shape. Its round design helps spread the weight in soft snow. They're strong, light, and last for years. <laughs> 